Hello everyone, welcome back. So this year we're raising two feeder pigs again. And when we got them, they were like really small pigs. So we decided to keep them in the, in the barn with the rest of the animals um, while they were so small. But they've been in there now for, for several weeks. And these pigs are now, they're now getting to be a pretty good size. So it's time to get them out of the barn and into their own pen. So that's what I was working on today as I was working on a pig pen. It, actually, it's a training pen. It's a really small pen. It's got electric fence on the inside, and it's really to just get the pigs all trained up with electric fence. And then afterwards, we're actually planning on giving them um, a bunch of area back here in the trees, maybe a quarter of an acre or so. We, we plan on fencing in with electric fence uh, to give the pigs a nice big area to be able to roam and root and uh, kind of clean out for us. But anyway, I think I got the, the training pen, the pig pen all ready to go, except I need, I need the water, the pig water, and I need to get the feed trough and get them moved down here and then we can go ahead and move the pigs. So this is the pig water that we built last year and it has these bite valves on here. And all the pig has to do is just bite down on it and it'll pour water into their mouth. And they attach to the drum with these plastic bulkhead fittings and the problem with these plastic fittings is they're not very strong. So it doesn't take much of an impact to these to be able to break it and then they'll fall out of the barrel. You can see we already are missing one over here on this side right there. There's an empty hole. So I want to get rid of these plastic fittings and I've found some brass ones to replace it with. So first thing I want to do is just get this all fixed up with these brass fittings and then we'll take it to the uh, new pig pen. Luckily, I've got this access panel on the top where I can get my arm inside of here and uh, take the fitting loose from the back side because it gets a nut on each side. So this is the bite valve that's in the water barrel and you can see this plastic bulkhead fitting, how thin it is. And uh, this breaks really easy. See, it's got a real gasket surface here on the side and that's what keeps the water from leaking out. So this is the brass bulkhead fitting and it actually has two gaskets on it, so it'll probably seal a little bit better. It's just gonna be a lot stouter than plastic. It's got a half inch thread on the inside, so that's how we're gonna be able to thread this pig water into it, and then we'll attach this to the barrel. So we got the water and the feed trough in the pig pen. So I think we're ready to go ahead and get the pigs and bring them in. So I was wanting to use like a big dog crate, put the pigs in there and try to carry them over here. But Rebecca thinks that the pigs are still small enough that we can pick them up and carry them over here. So if you've ever heard a pig squeal, it's more like a pig scream. And that's probably what exactly this is gonna be. But we're gonna go ahead and try to pick up the pigs and carry them over here one at a time. And this might be a fiasco and we might end up losing the pigs. We'll just have to wait and see. But this is Rebecca's idea. So we're gonna see if it works. So let's go ahead and move the pigs. All right. So Well, you laugh. 
past it about 20 feet. Well, maybe I need to try to carry it differently. Come here, I don't want any. Maybe, maybe I need to carry it Try to use the other the crate now. They're heavy. We can do one at a time in a crate. Out, dogs. You got it. about the loud. I needed earplugs for that. You jump in that corner, you're gonna get sick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna find out. Don't go back in. Like, what is happening? <laughs> So the pigs are in their new home now and they ended up getting shocked quite a few times by that electric fence. They kept on like running around every time they'd get shocked and they'd run from one side to the other around a circle and kept on brushing it up against the wire and kept on getting shocked. They didn't know what was going on. Finally they decided to just kind of lay down in the middle and just stay still. Um, I think they'll catch on to the electric fence pretty quick. They're pretty smart animals and uh, they haven't drank from the pig waterer yet. So. Um, we tried to show them, but I think they didn't want anything to do with us. They were still worked up from being shocked so many times. But the, uh, the bite valves are actually dripping water right now. I'm going to have to go back and try to figure out why they're leaking, but they are dripping water. So I think that'll attract the pigs to them anyway, and they'll, they'll start licking them and biting them, and they'll learn how they work. But uh, we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll make sure that they are drinking from the, from the uh, pig water. Now, the, uh, the feed trough... That's the same feed trough that we used last year. And in fact, we had two of them because they have the tendency to get inside of it. They, they can step in it and they can actually lay down in it. So we ended up having two of them. So if one laid down in one feeder, you had another feeder that had food in it. So I'm not real happy with the design of this feeder. So I may try to design a new one that they can't step in or lay down in. But for the time being, this, this feeder is gonna work fine for now. So this is a pretty small pen right now for the pigs to be in. So 
Um, hopefully in the next couple weeks, we'll start setting up our electric fence and give them a bigger area. But anyway, for tonight, I'm gonna leave these pigs alone and let them get used to their new home. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Not a lot of traction on there.